What is up everyone? It's Gage here. Welcome to you, Buck Dad. And today we are going to be talking about something that uh that's come up in the last couple of days and but has been rumored for the past few months. And that is the Tom Brady pampering with the Miami Dolphins. Um it started in 2019 where uh he was a New England Patriot and around the month of August of that year, he was talking Miami Dolphins. Um and obviously that was against the rules. Brian Flores, it came out last year. Brian Flores is talking about it like, hey man, I had nothing to part of that. Um, which, how all of this came out. Which all of this came out. It kind of started Brian Flores, to be honest. I don't even think it would have came out if it weren't for him. Um, but yes. Yes, it came out around the time uh, Brian Flores didn't get hired. So actually, it wasn't last year. It was a couple months ago during the offseason. High around February, March. That's when the story came out. Um, and now, there's been a new report. 2021 year, in the month of December, he was talking to Miami Dolphins as a Buccaneer. As a perspective, uh, obviously, uh, you look in the report, he's talking as uh, being a part of the ownership. Uh, being an executive partner. So obviously anyone would have picked up that call. I know I would have. <laughs> if it was their team ownership and uh, it's in Florida where I love it at, I'm like, okay, let's go. But uh, there's been talks that uh, he was talking to as a player, which is why Sean Payton was involved. And obviously uh, there's some talks. Tom Brady hasn't confirmed, but there's been too many talks about it. You know, it's like Stefan Diggs said at one point, uh, uh, rumors have some truth in them. Um, and obviously this has some truth to it. Tom Brady probably did talk to him a little bit, maybe uh, kind of cut it off, but regardless, he considered playing for Miami Dolphins. Obviously, he didn't spend his whole career with uh, Tampa, but... If you're going to be talking about going to a new team, do that during the offseason, man. Not there, remember, in the season. Worry about the Super Bowl, my guy. Obviously, he still did pretty well, considering, uh, thinking about his options. Uh, did pretty well. We did lose the playoffs against the Rams. He was kind of off that day, actually. So, that maybe that would explain it. Um, but, yes, uh, as a Buccaneers fan, I am uh, kind of disappointed. You know, kind of proved his loyalty to the Buccaneers. Obviously, like I said, he's only been for three years. Kind of like Joe Montana to the um, to the Chiefs. No one really remembers that, but the most comparable would be De Peyton Man with Denver Broncos. But you know that's why I like Peyton Man. He was he's whatever team he's with, he's loyal to. It. You know what I mean? Like if they treat him right, they give him the weapons around him, he's good. He's like, you know what? I'm sick with you guys. Shit, he had a neck injury. He still played in that Super Bowl. Um, Tom Brady, uh, you know, like I said, I, uh, you know, at the end of the day, he's going to remember as a Patriot, not a Buck. That's why, that's why I, I just don't think he's a true Buck, to be honest. It's kind of proven, you know, if you're a true Buck, you're going to think about our teams. I think if you call him a true Buck, it'd be, uh, or the greatest Buck, um, as some of you guys might have mentioned, um. It's kind of, I feel like it's disrespectful to Ronnie Barber, Derek Brooks, who spent 10 years with us and earned that right to be the greatest buck. Tom Brady will go down as the greatest quarterback to ever play of all time. And the best quarterback we've had in recent history. But, well, in the whole history. Brad Johnson's the closest one to that. But, um, but yes, Tom Brady, obviously proven he's not a true buck. You know what I mean? Uh, but... But he will, uh, he will do good this year for us. No, last he's my quarterback, so I'll support him. But you know, what I mean, this uh, aim what you know. That's just how it goes. This is how it goes. But regardless, we got Tom Brady for one more year, and uh, I'm gonna make my prediction about this. He's gonna be Miami Dolphin next year. I I, I think so, man. Tom Brady is just one of those dudes. I didn't believe it. But hearing Kai talking about it, obviously you're saying about his future ahead of time. So, I'm saying he might be Miami Dolphin next year. He might try to do something no one possibly could do. Like, something that would be very hard to do. 
one with three different teams. I could see Tom Brady doing that. He wants to break records. And I could see him wanting to win 10 Super Bowls. I could see that being his goal, to be honest. Or being the oldest quarterback of all time, being George Blandy at 48. I could see him doing all these things. Because Tom Brady, he's a football guy. He is dedicated. He literally came back out of retirement. He probably was, he probably was, uh, probably wanted to be more in the family, uh, situation, but, uh, he's like, you know what? I can't do it. I love football too much. I gotta keep going. I'm not, I still have a lot I want to do. Tom Brady, obviously, we, we're like, dude, you won a, you won seven Super Bowls. You got 15 old pro, uh, 15 pro bowls. Like, but he's, uh, he's one of those guys, he'll find a goal. He'll keep going and going and going. I think until he's, like, not good anymore. That's when he will stop. But, yes, yes, Tom Brady, obviously, three years is, uh, it's different. You know, uh, he spent almost, a, he almost spent two decades with a team before us. And, uh, and obviously, as a Bucks fan, it's like, man, Tom. Because we love Tom, bro. He won us the Super Bowl. He uh, he made us relevant. He helped us become relevant. Obviously, we've been building this team for the last 10 years under GM Jason Lent. But Tom Brady was a final step in stone. We won a Super Bowl. So it hurts as a Bucks fan. Like, man, man, Tom, why? Why do this? But you know, Tom's going to do what Tom does. He's going to look at business. He's going to look for him. You know what I mean? And his family. Obviously, any of us would be doing that. I was, uh, I was, little, I was like, "What the fuck, man? Why would you be talking about playing there the season when you're working towards the Super Bowl? Why?" But it's Tom. We, we, we can't understand, dude. He's, he's something else, bro. He's something else. But yes, but yes, that's kind of my opinion. He's not a true buck, like, like I've been saying. But he will go down as probably one of the best quarterbacks the Bucks ever had in history. I will say that. And the greatest quarterback of all time. And. And I think this year is going to be the year. I think Tom Brady, he's going to be an interesting guy to follow. Because I'm saying he's going to Miami Dolphins next year. But how, what I love just read and you guys just read, I'd be surprised if he didn't go to Miami next year. Like, he, the dude, uh, dude's going to keep going, man. And, uh,. <laughs> And I think he actually could do well, Miami. He could uh, retire Kill. Um, and uh, what's his, uh, Jalen Waddle, who got nearly 1,000 yards last year. He got like 900 something yards. He'll do well. He'll do well. But, mark my words, guys, the Bucks still have a great roster. Even if Tom Brady leaves, I think we pluck some good in there. Um, I think we do all right. Kyle Trask, please don't put him in. <laughs> not that dude. Not that dude. I've already had Blaine Gabber at that point. Um. But yes, guys, I hope you liked this video. Like and subscribe and uh, tell me your thoughts on this video. Tell me uh, your thoughts on that whole situation. Uh, you guys at this point couldn't have warned me. I'm just reading what the reports are coming out. And Tom Brady hasn't spoken yet at the media, so we'll see what he has to say about the situation. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe and uh, I hope you bucked that.